Southeast Asia Railway projects have been making remarkable progress, with existing projects reaching milestones and new projects have been conceptualized, helping boost local economies and interconnectivity within the region. With over $150 billion allotted budget for railway projects, Southeast Asia is keen on advancing its rail network. From Thailand, Malaysia, and Singapore to the island nation of Indonesia and the Philippines. Here are the top 10 biggest under construction railway projects in Southeast Asia. Thomson East Coast Line, Singapore. These additional lines of Thomson East Coast stages 3, 4, and 5 will consist of 32 stations along its 43-kilometer routes. Commuters will enjoy a 35-minute journey from Woodlands South to Orchard on the TEL, compared to a 50-minute journey by bus and MRT currently. The Thomson East Coast Line Stage 3 was opened on 13 November 2022 and provides commuters with a quicker and more direct connection to the city center. Spanning 13.2 kilometers, 11 of the TEL-3 stations will provide better and more convenient rail service to over 180,000 households saving up to 40% of travel time. All stages of this $5.3 billion worth of rail system will be completed by 2025. Northeastern High-Speed Rail Project, Phase 1, Thailand the project is also referred to as the China-Thailand Railway Project, in reference to being built in partnership with Chinese companies, China Railway International and China Railway Design Corporation. The project spanning a 252-kilometer leg which consists of five stations from Bangkok to Nakhon Ratchasima is scheduled to be operational by 2028. This will take form of the first of the two phases of the high-speed rail system, the bangkok nakhon ratchasima Nong Kai Line. The project's overall progress rate is still at 5%. MRT Orange Line Bangkok, Thailand This rapid transit line consists of 29 stations and stretches 35.9 km long in the eastern and western parts of metropolitan Bangkok. The line is divided into two, the 22.5 km eastern section and the 13.4 km western section. Construction of the 22.5 km eastern section started in June 2017 and is now at 96% complete. The line is scheduled to open in March 2024. Large construction companies have been selected for the state project. The contracts between the Mass Rapid Transit Authority of Thailand MRTA, and the joint venture of CKST, Italian Thai Development Public Limited Company, and Unique Engineering and Construction. MRT Putrajaya Line, Plang Valley, Malaysia. The line will provide greater convenience and connectivity within the densely populated valley. The rail line will add to the country's rail network by 52.2 kilometers, which passes through its 36 stations. MRT Putrajaya Line will connect with other urban railway systems, expanding the urban rail footprint. With interchanges with KMT commuters, LRT, Monorail, and the MRT SPK of Line 1. It will even connect to the future East Coast Rail Link in Putrajaya interchanges. MRT Putrajaya Line Phase 2 final tests begin and are set to run until December this year. The trials are in preparation for the start of operations for the Phase 2 section of the Putrajaya Line in January 2023. The train set can accommodate up to 1,200 passengers at any given time. On a daily basis, it will accommodate more than 500,000 passengers once fully operational. The Three Airport High-Speed Rail Link, Thailand The second high-speed railway project in Thailand, spanning 220 kilometers with nine stations. It aims to connect the two airports in Bangkok from Don Muong and Suwanapun to Utapau International Airport in the Eastern Economic Corridor of Thailand. This is one of the key infrastructure projects in the flagship of the EEC Development Plan. The rail link will be connected to what will eventually be the two biggest railway stations in Bangkok, 
Bang Su Grand Station, and Makassan. The train will also have a stop at Pattaya, connecting Bangkok to the popular beachside city in under one hour. Construction of the high-speed railway started last October this year as the State Railway of Thailand has completed the expropriation of land for the project and the areas have been handed over to the contractor. The $7.2 billion project is set to be operational by 2026. Jakarta to Bandung High-Speed Rail Project, Indonesia Indonesia's multi-billion high-speed rail project is a 142.3 km railroad network spanning from the capital city of Jakarta, that will connect to the city of Bandung in West Java. China's high-speed bullet trains for Indonesian Jakarta Bandung HSR have a maximum speed of 350 km per hour. Connecting the country's two largest cities, from more than three hours to just 40 minutes. Currently, according to KCIC, the Jakarta Bandung HSR construction is 78.3% complete, while the investment progress was at 89% as of September 2022. The construction of tunnels and bridges is almost completely done, at 95% completion. However, the construction of Padalarang Station, which is the meeting point between the HSR and feeder trains, is only 7.8% complete. Last September, the first batch of 11 pairs of high-speed electric passenger trains and an inspection train, made in China and customized for the Indonesian HSR project arrived. A trial section of Indonesia's Jakarta Bandung High-Speed Railway is ready for operation after having a number of components commissioned on November 5. The railway is regarded as the link between China's Belt and Road Initiative and Indonesia's Global Maritime Fulcrum Strategy. It's expected to be fully operational by June 2023. The Metro Manila Subway, Philippines The Metro Manila Subway project is one of the first two underground railway system projects in the Philippines, which aims to provide mass transportation in the national capital region. The first phase of the 33-kilometer subway connecting the north and south of Metro Manila will run from Mindanao Avenue in Valenzuela City to the FTI compound in Taguig City, with a spur connecting to the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Reaching a speed of up to 80 km per hour crosses seven local government units and will cut travel time from Valenzuela to Naya from 1 hour and 30 minutes to just 45 minutes, which will serve daily ridership from 400,000 to as high as 800,000. On October 3, two additional stations in Ortigas and Shaw Boulevard broke ground, witnessed by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., Japanese Ambassador Koshikawa Kazuhiko, and Transportation Secretary Jamie Bautista. Groundworks started in the first quarter of this year, while the tunneling works of the partial operability section started last June 2022. The overall project completion rate is currently at less than 40%. All 17 stations will be fully operational by 2028, with a design capacity of 1.5 million passengers per day. East Coast Rail Link, Malaysia The 665-kilometer under construction railway infrastructure project connects from the northeast city of Kota Baru to the west port on the Strait of Malacca of Peninsular Malaysia with five spur lines, provides 20 stations, comprising of 14 passenger stations, five combined passenger and freight stations, and one freight station. The line will take four hours from Kota Baru to Putrajaya. The electric-powered trains will feature six cars for every train set, with a capacity of 440 passengers, with a maximum operating speed of 160 km per hour for passenger trains, and 80 km per hour for freight trains. The East Coast Rail Link project reached the 30% completion mark in May and is on track to reach the target of 37% by the end of the year. Infrastructure works are ongoing concurrently in four states, and the three parcels are Section A from Kota Baru to Dungan, which will see development of a 210-kilometer rail link in the states of Kelantan and Terengganu. It will have six stations. 
Section B, the intersection of the rail link, which will connect Kimasik to Maroon. This 210-kilometer section, will connect the eastern part of the state of Terengganu, to the central part of the state of Pahang. This line will include 41 kilometers from 5 Spur Line Station. Section C will connect Tamerlo to north and west port, via KTM Jalan Kastam. The section will add 201 kilometers of the rail link, including 32 kilometers spur lines. There are now over 300 work sites along the 665 kilometers line. The rail line is expected to be fully completed by December 2026, with operations expected to start in January 2027. PNR North-South Commuter Rail Project, Philippines PNR North-South Commuter Railway is envisioned as a 163-kilometer sub-urban railway network. Connecting, the regional business districts in Clark and New Clark City in the north, passing through central Manila to Calamba City in Laguna Province, south of the capital. The NSCR corridor will provide interchange with all of the existing Metro Manila rail lines, through the connection of MRT Line 3 and MRT Line 9 of the Metro Manila subway. A notable feature of NSCR will be the first airport rail shuttle in the Philippines. This airport express service will reduce the journey time between Clark International Airport in Pampanga and Makati City, the main business district in the capital, to less than an hour, compared to at least two hours by car at present. NSCR's technical parameters envisage a maximum operating speed of 120 km per hour for the commuter trains, and 160 km per hour for the airport express and semi-fast services trains. NSCR Phase 1 Projects, Contract Package 1 Solis to Bokawi, is 31.04% complete. And Contract Package 2 Balagtas to Malolos, is 58.8% complete. With the columns for Contract Package 2 already 75.5% complete. Overall, NSCR Phase 1 is 51% complete, while NSCR Phase 2 is 32% overall progress rate as of September 2021. On the other hand, the South Commuter Railway Project or NSCR Phase 3, pre-construction activities begin by the latter part of 2022, and by February 2023, will begin the full-scale construction works. Once fully operational, the NSCR corridor is expected to carry up to 800,000 passengers per day. The Cross Island Line, Singapore The Cross Island Line is Singapore's 8th MRT line and will be the longest fully underground line at more than 50 kilometers long. It will serve existing and future developments in the eastern, western, and northeastern corridors, connecting major hubs such as Jurong Lake District, Punggol Digital District, and Chani Region. When operational, it will have the highest number of interchange stations, with almost half the stations on the line being linked to existing rail stations. This means more alternative travel routes to get to your destination. Constructed in three phases, the 29-kilometer-long Phase 1 of the CRL will comprise 12 stations from Aviation Park to Bright Hill. More than 100,000 households will benefit. Construction for CRL-1 has commenced and is targeted to be completed by 2030. In the implementation stages, is the CRL Phase 2 is approximately 15 kilometers and comprises six underground stations. While the 7.3-kilometer CRL Pungol extension will consist of four fully underground stations. The construction works for CRL, Pungol extension are expected to commence by the end of 2022, and are targeted to be completed by 2032.